Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Schnabel Wobble by Blazing Star Games. In Schnabel Wobble, you're going to be playing three to 10 players. It'll roughly take about 45 minutes to play and it's for ages seven and up. And this is an emotional guessing game. Well, I mean by that is it's kind of like charades mixed with a little bit of a prompt via emotions. You're gonna be sad, mad, angry, awkward, curious, serious, nostalgic, or show off and so on and so forth. Uh, you're gonna have your emotions set down. Somebody else will as well and you and that person will interact in a scene together. There are different scene cards here. You're going to draw one of those guys and interact that scene. Uh, usually it will start with something like a relationship and it'll say you've only got two hours of air supply left and then the next person's going to have to start speaking, utilizing their emotion. Then you're going to reply back and back and forth it shall go until the end of the sand timer runs out. When that happens, uh, then you're going to flip over the sand timer again in which play play case every single player, including yourself, will get to guess on the emotions. If you're not in the scene, you'll have two guesses and you can choose the two emotions you think are being um, uh, acted out. And if you are one of the people who is playing, you can go ahead and guess your opponent's emotion. You'll score points based on the correct guesses of people that guessed yours. And if there's a certain number of guesses on yours over your opponents, you'll get a bonus point. In addition, if you are guessing, you'll get a point for every time you get it right. There's also gonna be director's uh, cut cards and there's gonna be mission cards. And these cards can either be played out on your turn or on an opponent. Uh, during their turn, in which case something unique and interesting is going to happen in the game. If you don't use them, however, it's going to count against you, so make sure that you do. At the end of the game, when everybody has run out of emotion cards, that will trigger the ending, and whoever has the most points is the winner in the game Schnobble Wobble, a game of emotional acting and interesting scenes, as well as, of course, missions you can take on. To begin the game, go ahead and set the game board out in the middle of the table within reach of all players. Take the sand timer and place it within the middle of the board. Take the scene cards, shuffle the deck, and place it anywhere near the board as well. Then, depending on the number of players, each player is going to receive a certain number of emotion cards, a certain number of mission cards, and a certain amount of director's cut cards. In this example, I'll have four emotions, two missions, and a director's cut for each player. Each player is also going to receive guesses. These are two coach tokens that match each player's color, as well as, of course, a point scoreboard or their character scoreboard that you can place out in front of all players. Once you've done that, place all of the points next to um, the game board within reach of all players. And for every player that's playing, go ahead and take a token and place it into the guessing bag, the bag in which is going to determine who the two players are that are acting out the uh, specific scene. All the rest of the tokens that you're not utilizing, as well as the guesses, can be set aside and then the game can begin with the first and most brave player. Schnabel Wobble is not only silly, but also pretty straightforward. You're going to be, as the first person, drawing one of these tokens from the bag. You'll pull it out and you'll look at it. Okay, it's not yours, so it's green, which means green is going to be the one who acts this scene out with you. Each of you is going to select one of your emotions. You're gonna place it on the board face down in either side of the scene deck. Um, you're also gonna go ahead and flip over one of these scene cards, and this is going to be what you're going to be doing for the scene. When you do that, you'll look at it, you'll see what it says, and one of you will choose to start. After you have done that, you'll flip over the sand timer. Once the sand timer is going, both players acting out their emotions is also, are also going to act out the scene. And you're going to try and give off the, the emotion that attaches to whatever your character is in the specific moment of the specific scene. You can also choose if you want to play any mission cards on your turn or a mission card on your turn, which will give you a net value of points based on the upper left hand side or right hand side in this case. Uh, and then of course, if you want, you can play director's cut cards Cards. Basically, you can make something happen like point and say, dance like a gorilla, and that happens instantly during the scene. A little bit like charades, I suppose. After the sand timer has run out, then it is time to guess. Every player, playing and not playing, will guess the people that are not that they're not acting as and the emotions represented. So if I'm like, oh you dang it, you rat, you hurt me, blah, 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 and I'm acting very angry right now, you might think, okay, he's angry. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess on the angry section or, oh, yay, you hit it, you rat, wow, such a great job. You might guess excited and everybody else is going to do that as well. And it's kind of like a free for all. You throw down your components all at the same time. And then if you are playing as, as one of the actors, maybe you're the angry actor, maybe you're only going to be able to guess excited because that is what your opponent is. In which case, after all the votes have been cast, which is by the time that timer 
runs out. And if you don't get one by that time, then you lose out on your vote. You will score points. You're going to go ahead and score for every single point that is directed towards your specific emotion that you are acting out. And if you have the most guesses on your emotion, or the, at least half of the players or more have guessed your emotion, you'll get an extra point. And if you're the guessers, for every person's emotion that you guess correctly, you will score a point as well. And play will continue from there. The next player is going to take the bag, they're going to then pull out a new token, and they're going to reveal it, and that is the person they're going to act out with. And just keep going around the game board like that. And eventually, after everybody has played all of their emotion cards, the game is going to end. You're going to check score, you're going to check to see if you've played all your director's cut and mission cards, and then you're going to see whoever has the most points based on the tokens that you'll be gaining for each round where you score points in this game. There's a lot of emotions, a lot of choices, and a lot of scenes that you're going to interact with in this game, and an overall pretty simple, straightforward style party game. Schnabel Wobble is a charades type of a guessing game. Players will act out, they will choose emotions. If you don't like the last emotion in your hand, you can discard it and pick a different one, which is a nice little twist. And there are a ton of emotions as you see here on the board. You are going to know what emotions that you hold and your opponents will know what they hold. So sometimes you'll think it might be courageous, but in fact, you might already have courageous in your hand, which means it's probably not going to be that from some players. Surprisingly, a lot of emotions are very similar. The difference between mean and angry or serious, you'll have to decide based on how the opponents or your acting uh, skills or maybe your uh, friend's acting skills are. And you'll kind of have to go, okay, this person sounds like this based on what they said. Uh, certain rules I would include, which I may or may not be in the rule book, I'm not sure, is you can't say the words of, uh, I don't mean to be mean. You can't say stuff like that. Or, wow, you're such, uh, um, I, feel, I feel like showing off right now. You can't say that kind of stuff. You have to actually act out the emotion based on what you think the emotion would be like in that specific scene. Uh, scenes are, uh, there's a wide variety of them. Like a farmer meets an alien that landed in his barn. One person will play as the farmer, the other as an alien. Or maybe you're going to do a relationship type of a conversation. Your son's homework is a little disturbing and then the other person's going to respond and it's a teacher and a parent. Uh, opening line, you got in late last night. What is the person going to say? And what's nice is when you are the person who begins the game off, uh, you're going to decide kind of like who's going to start first as well as like what you want to say with your emotions. Uh, the scene, two fairies dancing around in a magical forest. Do these jeans look good on me? I thought you had feelings for me and so on and so forth. So these cards kind of give you an interactive scene you can start with. Sometimes it'll give you characters that you can identify as and sometimes it won't. And how you choose to use your emotions in the different scenarios is probably going to help out quite a bit. It might be uh, kind of weird for fairies to dance angrily in a forest, but I guess you could make it work, I suppose. There's a lot of humor in this game. There's a lot of laughs. Uh, this is a game that's definitely for a lot of players. I wouldn't suggest playing this game uh, with uh, the lowest player count. I think it plays up to th three to four. I, I think this game needs at least five to function. Five, six, seven, eight. More is better. Um, I also like the idea of how you get emotions and you can look at them and you can kind of act them out. I actually kind of think for an advanced mode of play, people will just draw two emotions and pick one and put the other on the bottom and you'll keep going on like that. That way people don't know uh, what emotions are going to show up. They're not going to know that there's certain emotions that have been removed from play and that kind of thing. I think that'd be cool. Or if you're playing the base mode of the game, how it stands, I think it'd be kind of nice to have tokens representing the spaces that have already been chosen for those people with lower memory, uh, make it easier for them as opposed to other players who just simply remember that courageous was already played um, or generous was already added. Uh, some other players might get a benefit from that. So you can either go the advanced mode, which is just simply drawing two and picking one, or you can go ahead and do the easy mode, which is how the basic games kind of goes as is, and but simply add something in for people who have bad memory that blocks a certain spaces off, thusly making it easier for people who can't remember. This game has a high quality. The board is nice, timer works great, the tokens for voting are nice as well. Everything kind of works pretty cool. This is a, of course, a prototype and probably the game will change as you see it. I'm guessing that these tokens for, get, for the specific players will change maybe to like nice, nice circular discs that represent the different characters on the scorecard. Uh, these scorecards represent the points to be placing down for each of your characters and you have each of your little characters on these boards here. 
Uh, the artwork's cool. I mean, I, 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 I enjoy it. I think they all work as well as different emotions you can kind of represent on here. There's artwork on all the different cards as well that represent the different emotions that are attached to the emotions on the board so that you're not going to miss out on them. And the missions and the director's cut cards are very easy to understand and know when to play them. And they have some fun things that you do. And sometimes it's going to make uh, give us an evil laugh or laugh a little. Understand it from their point of view. Uh, bark like a dog. And so sometimes it'll make you do something. Sometimes it will not. Um, in the way of like getting up and interacting. Some people don't like the be funny type games where you have to force a player to be funny as opposed to just being funny naturally. I think the natural funny comes in with just doing the conversations and the scenes. And if you do not like the be funny aspect of the game, you can simply take out the director's cards uh, from the game because I think most of those are the be funny ones. Uh, the other ones, like the mission cards, will make you change how the conversations work, which I really enjoy those. Uh, probably more than the director cut cards. I like the guessing aspect of the game. And I like how simple and easy it is to play. This is a game that I can jump into play with pretty much anybody at any time. This is a game that can be as dirty as you'd like in using those emotions or as like uh, dark or whatever. I mean, when you're angry, you can include a lot of things. Uh, when you're sad, you can say a lot of things. So you have the option to kind of change the uh, G-rated version of this game to the R-rated and it's really all up to you but it works in the great uh, scheme of things as a, I don't know, the, the, the scale can slide either way is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you like party games, if you don't like mind some things that make you be funny, if you don't mind trying to act in emotions and having a charade type uh, conversation with people, I think you'll enjoy this game. The guessing is fun. There's a lot of options and a lot of choices. And I feel like you'll have a good chunk of fun for uh, loads of games to come because this game is ever-changing and not everybody has the same type of emotion or the same response for each of the different types of emotions and because of that Shabba Wobble is a solid party game that I think you should take a look at down below. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Schnabel Wobble. Uh, if you're interested in picking up the game, there is a link down below in the description. You can also go and check out our rest of our videos here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that bell notification button to see more of our videos. And if you would like, go ahead and check out the uh, live stream we do every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST. The website Unfiltered Gamer has tons of cool stuff. And uh, if you would like, you can go ahead and check out any of the extra little things you see on Instagram, on Twitter. We post all kinds of things all over the place. Uh, that's pretty much all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to uh, creating or acting out emotions in a unique variation of a scene with you next time.